Hey, this is House of Cards Reviewed, Episode 5. I'm John Kramer, and boy, does the shit hit the fan in this one, which is kind of what you'd expect to have happen if the Democratic Party, led by their majority whip, in this case Frank Underwood, if the Democratic Party turned on the teachers' union, which is something I just find difficult to believe. I mean, and if I were a teacher, I would have really been insulted by the scene where Frank and Claire offer food to the picketer, picketing teachers at their fundraiser, and they all take it with these big smiles on their face. I mean, I just found it difficult to believe so much in this episode, including the scene where Zoe sat so quietly and watched while Frank dropped her iPhone into a glass of water, just calm as ever, and her only complaint was that, you know, all my contacts are in the phone. But that would have meant that she'd been too stupid to back them up on her computer or in the cloud, which would also mean that she wasn't nearly as smart as the show is making her out to be. But then her editor at her, at her, at her old paper, he was probably the worst written character on the show because he managed to get himself fired, not for calling Zoe a very bad name, but because 13 years into the 21st century, Century, he seems to think that the internet and social media are all kind of a fad, and that newspapers will just write it all out if they're true to their mission. I mean, come on, for a show which has up to this point been so well written and so and so well plotted out, I just don't get what's going on here with all these out of character moments, and I hope that this has just been a fluke on an otherwise flawless series run. Or am I just being too picky? What do you think? At any rate, Please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for my take on episode 6, which I really hope is better than episode 5.